Hey, good day, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. Um, if you haven't had a chance, please like and subscribe. I'm a small uh, beginner at this YouTube thing. So what I'm trying to do is build content uh, through hunting, fishing videos, some product reviews of the gear that I'm using throughout the course of all those outdoor adventures. And um, I'd like to get your support and kind of help that go along. So what I got today is a video reviewing the Christensen Arms 338 Lapua ELR standing for Extreme Long Range. I've got a bear hunt coming up this spring. Um, and I figured I'd go ahead and throw a video on since I hadn't seen anything on YouTube or the internet um, that had kind of uh, shown that first person ownership of what it was like other than in the NPR version. So here we go. We'll, uh, I'm doing this all through the GoPro, so please bear with. The lighting isn't perfect. The conditions aren't perfect to film this, but um, you know, we'll give it a go. So what I have it set up with is the Vortex Viper PST 5 to 25 by 50 uh, scope. Uh, it's the Gen 2 if I didn't say that and it's a great scope. I love this combination of this scope with this rifle I could have gone higher end with something, but this is a great scope for the bang uh, The amount of money that you kind of put into it. So um, it's been great um, in terms of the bolt You know, it's it's really definitive when you take it out slide it back really smooth action fore and aft and um, I've had no issues grabbing the bullet and extracting out of the magazine. It's been really good. Had the magazine out earlier. I'll go ahead and pop that in just to show you what that's like putting it in. Very easy click, very definitive. The magazine release is a little bit different than what I'm used to. It's down here by the trigger guard and just a slight push releases it. And you can see how easily that comes out even without any bullets in the mag. So very good. I have found myself tripped up a couple times trying to release it because you can prevent that by putting your finger underneath it, trying to grab a hold. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of force though, so I've kind of adapted to that and gotten out of the way from there. Uh, Safety is up top. Um, again, very definitive. I like it. Very easy to flip forward. The trigger is phenomenal. This, this gun has a spectacular trigger. Uh, definitely the nicest I've ever owned. Probably about two, two and a half pounds. I don't have a a pool tester to test it out but we'll do a video if you can see fairly well there there it is just a light amount of force and it uh, is gone so that's about that what I like on the back is that you can adjust uh, the height of your cheek rest and the length of pull just by adding in those additional plates it's got quick disconnect fittings all along the length of the rifle for um, you know your sling attachments and so forth the barrel itself I believe is 4 16 steel and um, it wrapped in carbon fiber the brake is a really nice brake does an excellent job taking out the recoil and what I like on the top here is that you can adjust these ports you can take out um, you know these ports with an allen wrench and kind of adjust uh, the barrel rise as well to give that a customization for what you're used to and what you like outside of that I don't think I have a whole lot um, in terms of you know additional stuff to say about it uh, in a negative way for uh, you know the whole setup right here I think I've weighted around 11 pounds with the scope um, maybe a little bit more that's that's not including the bipod but the scope itself with the gun uh, in an empty mag has come in around 11 pounds so definitely not bad for a Lapua it's definitely a hikeable gun. Um, and what I have found through calling Christensen Arms and looking at a bunch of online dealers is a lot of misinformation in regards to what model you're buying. So the one in 10 twist, you'll see that this is a one in 9.3. This is the newest version that they came out with, which was about seven or eight months ago. If you see a one in nine, a one, excuse me, one in 10 twist, that is the previous model that they had, and they have since updated that to the 1 in 9.3 twist uh, because in talking with the representative, they found that the, the 1 in 9.3 had a better uh, stabilization of the bullet at long range. Um, so just something to consider. I would, I would recommend calling, you know, if you can't tell from the picture online, uh, and maybe if you're going to spend that much money, get the newest version. So... That's it. Quick review. It's a sweet, sweet gun. I love the way it shoots. It has produced about um, 
definitely they I think they claim for this gun uh, sub MOA if not half uh, the MOA uh, guarantee and what I found is that to be accurate uh, definitely on a no win day and at 200 yards I'm I'm just putting bullet after bullet touching each other so it's been a really good gun I'd like to kind of do an update once the bear hunt is, is done and hopefully there'll be a successful story at the end of that but other than that, if you have any questions, please throw it in the comments section, and I will upload now the footage of me shooting it. Thanks. Take care.